Hey, 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 good morning everyone. Friday morning, 17th of July, 2020. This morning's devotion has a look at Proverbs chapter 3, reading from verse 5 and 6, and it reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Some sage advice in that verse there. Today, we continue having a look at the stones that David picked up out of the stream on his way to do battle with the giant Goliath. And today we have a look at stone number four, the stone of trust. Trust is a difficult subject and idea to get one's head wrapped around, especially if you are already dealing with trust issues. David did not trust himself to fight the giant on his own. Just have a look at what he says in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45. He says to Goliath, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Trust is defined as to have confidence, faith or hope in someone or something. A simple example of trust is that I'm trusting in this chair not to break while I'm sitting on it, although I'm, I don't think it will. Trust is the foundation of any relationship. Without it, the rela relationship is shaky and will eventually fail. Trust means that you can rely on someone. You can confide in them and feel safe with them. No relationship can work without trust. It is the cornerstone that holds it all together. So here's a question. Why do we struggle with trusting God? Why do we struggle with trusting God? Well, one reason may be that we are looking and focusing on our current situation and not on God's promises. Imagine if David just focused on the situation at hand. Another reason we could struggle to trust God is that we still remember going through the difficult times living in the past instead of learning lessons and moving on. We love to live in the past. It's something that we can all sit on the stoop or the veranda in our rocking chair and reminisce about the days gone by, the hard times. Another scripture verse comes to mind. And that is Psalm 146, verse 3, which reads, Do not put your trust in princes, in mortal men who cannot save you. So, we are busy building up our arsenal of stones here. Firstly, we had the stone number one, the stone of courage. Then, we had the stone of confidence. Then, the stone of preparation. And today, the stone of trust. David knew in his heart, without a doubt, that God was with him and would help him in facing the giant Goliath. What about you? Can you say the same? Who or what do you place your trust in? And another question, where is your first stop? when trouble or danger arises. My dear friends, use these stones at all times and you will be able to better conquer that giant in your way. Use them. They are there for a reason. They are weapons to be used. So, tomorrow we have a look at our final stone, the fifth stone. What will it be? da 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 have a look and see. So my dear friends, with that, may the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.